blessed be and welcome to the Circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. Now in one of my previous videos I mentioned that I would go through a simple candle dressing uh, with one of the candles that I purchased from a store um, recently. So this is the one here. Um, and once it's used then um, I will show you um, techniques of, of actually making your own candle and, and putting things into them um, um, yourself where you can start from scratch. But this one here is if you've bought something from a store um, online or um, your local metaphysical uh, store or even just a some kind of new age store. Now the first thing that you would need to do is obviously to cleanse the candle. Now you don't know where this candle has been. If you have purchased it from a store, you have no idea what has happened in the process of making this candle. Um, you don't know. Um, I would say that most of the time it would be some kind of um, machine um, operation. I don't think they would be hand poured. Um, so even into the creation of the glass itself, uh, the pouring of the, the candle, um, the energies that are around the space that this, um, this candle was created, um, anyone who was in charge of uh, mixing the the uh, wax or well, what frame of mind were they and what were they thinking about what were they um, what energy were they actually pouring into this um, this wax maybe intentionally or unintentionally you don't know now so in order for you to to actually use your candle properly you need to need to cleanse it so you need to make it into a void so uh, there's again there's different techniques and each technique is going to work um, well for you so what you can do is you can um, say wash wash the the outside um, of the glass with some kind of maybe salt and water preparation that you've charged for a cleansing um, purpose. If you have uh, access to what's known as Florida water, uh, you can use that. And as you are cleansing the outside, you are um, visualizing that that is going into the candle itself, right into the core, right into the, the, um, the wax itself. And you are cleansing and, and taking out all energy every single part of energy whether it's good or bad it doesn't matter you are taking out all of it you are making this candle into what we would class as a void uh, it is void of positive energy negative energy any energy at all it's void so you are cleansing it taking out all of that energy so whether it is just a, a movement of um, pulling all that energy down and into the ground as you're washing it you're washing away all energy all energy just cleansing and taking that all away now when you're doing that also remember if you're pushing energy out don't push it into yourself push it into the ground see it go into the ground so the ground can then convert it to the energy that it actually needs so the the earth will bring it back into balance so you're pushing all the energy in out out of this and into the earth until you create a void now you don't want to keep it that way you don't want to uh, keep anything as a void when you banish something and you take something away you need to put something back in so you need to now so this is um, this is void it has no um, energy no potentiality in it you are then going to insert your potentiality you are going to program this candle with the intent that it is designed for so this is a black candle now black candles can be used for lots of different things obviously any color candle can be used for a variety of different things depending on what your intent is and what you your your goal is now um, this black candle is used to um, uh, if any negative energy is directed towards myself or whoever this candle is um, made for, um, then 
the, uh, the energy would be absorbed because black absorbs energy. If anyone wears black uh, clothing and they go outside in the sun and they feel really, really hot, it's because black absorbs light, absorbs energy, okay? White, on the other hand, it repels, it, it, it directs out. So if you are using a white candle um, for protection, then that is a protection of being um, deflecting energy. It, it pushes it away because it is a, 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 its whole purpose is of, of a, a doing, a pushing away, a, a masculine kind of energy of pushing away. With the, um, with the black candle, it is more of a feminine, it is more of, of absorbing the energy. So it absorbs the energy and then it can convert it or it can keep it for uh, a later date depending on what your intent is, again. So the black absorbs energy. So what we'll be doing is we'll be placing our intent of what this candle is going to do. So it's going to absorb any negative energy, any negative um, um, thoughts, feelings, actions directed towards the owner of this candle. So we would put that in. And so again, there's different ways of doing it. Um, it it's easy just to either put, place your hands on, on either side and direct and, and push that into the, into the candle. Or you can have a, even more of a hands-on idea and actually start to twist in and push that energy in and push that energy in. So it gives you that whole idea that you can really feel that, that energy bubbling up through your, um, your body, down your arm, in into your hands and pushing that energy in and really just make sure that you see every part of that candle, every part of that candle from the glass to the wick to the, to the actual um, wax itself is glowing and vibrating with the energy that you have put in there. There is no particle within that, that candle that would be classed as a void because you have pushed all that energy into it all that energy in. Now the reason that we do this is when we banish something and we make it into a void and we don't leave it like that is because uh, energy doesn't like having a vacuum. Everything has to have something in it, you know, whether it's all potential or no potential. There has to be something in there. So when you've taken out all the energy and made it into a void, and if you leave it like that, then eventually the energy that was originally in there will come back. Okay, so you have to put in the energy that you require into that, um, into that space, whether it be a candle or a home space. So you've pushed all that energy in, you can literally see the candle vibrating um, with, with light, with, with energy. Now comes to dressing. Now everyone has a, a different way of doing this. Now this candle is quite fine the way it is. You don't need to dress it any further. Um, um, but it depends on, on how much you want to do. So the more that you can put in, the more effort that you can put in, the better. But with that said, when it comes to candles, a lot of the time less is more. You don't want to put too much of each of the things that we're going to put in in a moment into there because remember a lot of these things are going to be fuel for your candle and when it gets to those certain areas there's going to be some flare up. So if you have too much of something then you don't want to cause a fire. Um, that's not... Um, that's not my intent. I'm not sure about yours, but that's not my intent. So let's go through some of the things that we, we will be um, using. So we'll need to have some kind of implement to make a hole into the, into the wax. Okay, so this is just a, um, a kebab skewer. Um, and I used this uh, for a previous video um, with the pomeander. Um, so yeah, just an implement, whether it's a stick, um, just something that's that's easy, you can drive down. You can use a knife if you like, but um, when it comes to using knives, you, you don't want to cut yourself. Um, okay, we have 
a small little crystal. Now, ideally, you would have a, a even smaller crystal, and you would you would crush that up, um, and so that you could actually um, put that in to the um, the candle. Um, but I'm just going to use this for now, just for illustration. But the smaller, you know, those those tiny little, little tiny little t stumble, uh, tiny little tumble stones. I'm stumbling over my words. That you can use um, in here would be would be ideal. Now we have some oil, um, which I've just got over to the side, which I'll I'll put in when um, when we're ready. And I've also got a little concoction of some um, some powders. Now I have a protection powder in there. I have a um, I have some black salt in there, and um, I have. Um, I think a little bit of um, I'm not sure um, I'll remember in a moment I have um, oh that's right I have a little bit of graveyard dirt in there now um, as I said less is more you don't need to have a heap of or any of them um, it is just just adding a little bit of oomph into your candle uh, so we have the candle, we have some oil, we have a little bit of dressing, um, dressing herbs, dressing incense. So you can use um, actual uh, larger herbs. It's always good to try and grind them down so they become a powder because they just seem to, to fit in just a little bit better. And lastly, again this isn't, uh, isn't mandatory but it just adds a little bit extra. I've just made a little sigil. Um, and um, this is to just to say that uh, energy that will be absorbed and uh, and uh, converted for my um, for my pleasure. Um, so uh, that can be put on the side. So you can place that onto the side. Now this is um, one easy way of doing it. You can just um, sticky tape. The, uh, the sigil onto the side. You can even to the point where you actually draw on the side of the glass with um, some kind of um, some kind of texture or paint it on um, and if that is because the intent of this candle which will always be for that purpose uh, and you're going to re-pour the candle um, with that purpose but if you would like to use this uh, container for other other purposes and have a different color candle in there, then the idea of just placing the uh, the picture or the uh, the sigil on the side, I think, is a is a is a more practical way of doing it. Um, it means that you can take it off, um, make the candle void, and you can use it for another purpose. So what do we do? Well, you've pushed all the energy in. That you that you have, and now we are going to dress it and um, having all those pieces charged and adding um, information, adding energy into that candle. So we have our, our concoction of of, of dirt and um, various powders, and we'll just give that a little bit of a charge. And we have our. A little crystal. Now, if you're using this, um, a candle, a black candle, so you're doing the same thing for protection, you can use different crystals. You can use uh, a black crystal, so um, some, something like a black tourmaline would be fine, or even a. Um, um, my memory's escaping me today. Um, so, any kind of black crystal would work, but. Um, this here, as I've said once before, is a quartz crystal and it is, uh, by its nature, programmable with it, with any intent. It is like a CD, a blank CD, or a black, blank DVD that you then program and put your images and your, your, um, your intent in there. So it is, um, is a, it's an all-purpose um, 
all-purpose piece and I think that sometimes the quartz crystals are easier for people to find um, than some of the more exotic um, ones used for protection so this is this is always a, a good go-to when you when you um, can't find some of the more exotic uh, crystals and, and stones so again you would charge that with your intent yeah. and then let's get going so basically what you want to do is you want to make some holes in the candle so that you can place some of these things down deep into the candle so you just push your device down down as far as you can it shouldn't be too hard now if you live in a colder climate it might be a little a little harder to do and then you try and get out so you can see there you've got a nice hole in there which you can place things in and you just go around So if you're in a colder climate, yes, it might be a little harder. Um, we're just here in Perth, Western Australia, so we, it's not not too cold at the moment. We're we're transitioning into into winter, so autumn is it's always a bit um, a little bit wet, but it's still quite warm. So it's more more humid than anything else. From down using your muscle power. So we're making these in order to put oil and our powders into the candle. Now you can use lots of different things. If you're using say a candle that's for love, obviously you would do some research and find out what sort of things that you would have for love. So you can make up an actual love powder itself with maybe a little bit of perfume. Um, you can have um, some rose petals, um, all, the, all different things that you associate with love. You can even put say little tiny trinkets in here if you, if you can, if you've got um, a larger, a larger hole that's made, uh, so that you can um, have such connection with, with say love. Um, if it's a prosperity one, then again, you, you could even, um, you can even burn. Um, you wouldn't do it in in Australia because our our currency is kind of plastic, so you wouldn't want to burn any uh, any money. But you could say. Um, have some like a, a photocopy of some money um, that you then burn and place the ashes into the the candle so you have that sympathetic link with with uh, with currency um, and various other other herbs and spices that that you would have worked out to to go with uh, to go with prosperity so it's up to you you put in what you feel uh, works for you but as I said less is more so don't pack this with so much stuff that you hardly have any wax left you, you need to be mindful of, of, of what you're putting in and how that's going to react when it gets to that that part and, and starts to burn so what we will do is that we will put a little bit of the Remove some of the, the wax out of the way to the side. Let's make sure the holes. There we go. And we put a bit of our powder on the top, and then you just push that into the holes and then we have our oils now any kind of oil that you would consider to be some kind of banishing oil would work now I'm just dropping this into the holes And again, there is different ways of doing this. Lots of different practitioners have slightly different ways. Um, it's up to you what works for you, ultimately. Um, 
So there you can see, I've got, oh, I've got that. And then lastly, make the hole a little bigger. So this is why you would want to have smaller little crystals. And you just place your crystal down there. Try not to get too close to the wick. As you can see, as I've pushed that in, it's lifted up some of the top layer. Which is good. There we go. And we can probably put that last little bit on there. And there you can see. Now, if I was uh, making this candle from scratch, then all of these bits and pieces, the, the ground up uh, quartz crystal, all of that would go into the wax itself. And then as it's poured, it would fill the, uh, the, uh, the container and all of that intent would be there. And it would be a more potent candle than a candle that you have purchased from the store and, and then have dressed. So I always recommend uh, pouring and making your own because then you can then you can actually put as much into it as you can and the actual creation of that candle, the intent behind that candle is, is uh, infused into that candle. So lastly, you would put your sigil on the top or on the sides. Now as you can see, we have our candle nice and close. We have the crystal and the, uh, the oil and the, the herbs and spices. We have our sigil that uh, we can focus on when we light the candle. And uh, we have the candle itself. And lastly, if you have a little bit of oil, um, it's always good to uh, just put a little bit of oil on the wick. That helps to light the wick. Gives it a little bit of bit of uh, bit of energy to to help light, especially if your wick is is quite dry. If you had a dry wick um, coming out, then a little tiny little bit of oil just helps to ignite that that wick a little bit better. So there you go. There's candle dressing of um, one of these little pillar candles and uh, I will use this and um, once it's empty we'll, we'll go into the next phase of uh, candle making. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs>